welcome back to AXC Garage, a channel that's built for today's Acura, Hondas, and all the classics. What are we doing today, Brian? Well, take a look at this old beat up cow. We're gonna do it for 20 bucks. We're gonna restore it right here. Aerosol cans, nothing fancy. And we're gonna take you through the steps. And also, we're gonna take apart those mirrors and we're gonna paint them and paint the rear spoiler as well. It's the last accessories on the car before it gets installed. Are those the last item that we'll be painting? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> okay, in terms of painting the cow, how much is this gonna cost? So, we, the can, the trim paint, now we get the trim paint from uh, Sam, and this is like 10 or 11 bucks. You can even go and get dupa color trim paint, but I like this because they really um, concentrate on having a color that is close enough to the OEM trim black, not too glossy and not too flat. So we have Sam trim paint, and then you don't need to get Sickens primer. Uh, this is actually a plastic primer. All it is is adhesion promoter. You can go to um, uh, Advance or whatever and get some um, adhesion promoter by Duplicolor. Same stuff, it's not gonna be a problem. And today we're gonna show you how to use it, but before we do that, we have to clean it and we have to stuff it a little bit. So cleaning, we're gonna use Purple Power. Yep, Purple Power. Look how bad these are. Look, look at all the, the grime and the grit. Now we don't want to hit it up too hard because it is plastic, so we'll slightly reduce that with some water. We'll clean it up, we'll use a pressure hose. We also have these um, um, flexible, uh, what, I see we call these the uh, covers that go in the corner. On the side, yeah. yeah, we're gonna clean these up as well. And then everything is gonna receive adhesion promoter and a few coats of the uh, trim paint. And it's gonna look brand spanking new. And I forgot to remind you guys, how much were these again? $20 or less. Okay, and how much were these though? How well, much brand new? This piece here is over $550, right. and that's over $350. That's insane. And for 25 bucks or 20 bucks, it's gonna look beautiful. So let's get this let's started. Let's get started, yep. Wow, Brian, it came back really clean. Yeah, so you notice they're clean, but they're really uh, dull now, and they're scuffed evenly. Now, the reason why we use that gray pad is because it's not gonna take away any of the texture. It's just gonna rough it up just a touch, ever so slightly. So now it's ready for the adhesion promoter, and this adhesion promoter gets in all the little uh, crap, little areas right in here that you can't really get too good with the scuff pad. And what that does is when the actual paint, um, when you go to paint it, it grabs it and it holds it. And this way you're not gonna get this flaking off in a month or two. It's gonna look fantastic all the way through. The adhesion promoter is the key. You need to put it on first. So we're gonna go ahead with the adhesion promoter. We're gonna apply about two coats lightly. Whenever you're spraying, you don't wanna get up too close. That's gonna leave streaks. We wanna do about like if you take your pinky to your thumb, that's a good six to seven, eight inches. And we just wanna do even sweeping motions and then we'll allow this to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we'll go ahead with our trim black paint. So make sure that you're using a, um, a uh, mask that's got a little vent. Uh, you wanna make sure that you're not breathing these fumes in and you're doing it in a well ventilated area as well. Just be smart about it. So 
So Brian, how many coats do we have to do? Well, on the bottle, we'll say one or two coats, but since it covered so well, and you saw that when we sprayed it, one coat is enough. We're not trying to build or cover anything. We just want to get it on there nice and even. And you can see right here, you see how it's already flashing? That means it's drying. So this is where we sprayed and this is the flashed area. Once everything looks nice and dull once again, we know that we're ready for our trim paint. Let's give it about 10 minutes and it'll all be nice and dull just the way we started, but it will have the extra bite with the adhesion promoter. So we're 10 minutes later and take a look at our cow. It's all nicely flashed up and it's ready for our trim paint. This is where the magic actually happens. Now, if you look at the back of the um, bottle, you'll, of the can, you'll actually see it. It's saying two to three medium wet coats, so don't blast it on, and it's saying three to five minutes in between each coat. So what will happen sometimes if you guys get too close like this, okay, it's gonna leave these streaks in it, all right? So it's going on too wet. So give yourself that same distance and kind of just move with it. The first coat might not look beautiful, but that's okay. You'll tidy things up in a second and then the third. So make sure you also have a paper towel. And after every two to three um, passes, go ahead and give that tip a little bit of a wipe. That way you don't have any um, paint coming out and spitting out onto the panel. That's a good pro tip to make sure you have a nice smooth finish. So let's go ahead and let's get started. On that first coat, if you take a look at the one we just sprayed, you can see it's kind of medium wet. Now take a look at the one right here that's already drying. It's already flashing nice and easy. Don't worry if you have little spots here and there. That's just due to a coverage issue. You cannot completely cover it on the first pass. Like I said, those two to three passes after this, it'll be nice and even. Make sure you still have that distance, otherwise it's going to be too wet in certain areas, too shiny in certain areas, and it's not going to look uniform. Let's give this about three to five minutes, and then we'll head it up for second pass. So it's been uh, drying for five minutes and it's good to go. So now all that patchiness is gonna start to go away with our second coat. We're not gonna do anything different. We're gonna spray it the same way. Beautiful. Now, did you notice when I painted it, I didn't stop in the middle. I did the whole length of the actual part itself. If I had stopped in the middle, that can leave a glossy area. So make sure when you're doing it on all the way, you can let go of the trigger at the end if you want, or you can keep it going. But do not stop in the middle. Don't try to go like this. A big uh, mistake I see a lot of people doing is when they go to spray mic, they spray like this, kind of at a curve. All right, so what happens is the edge of your pattern is dry, doesn't land the same. So if your panel's right here, just make sure you're going nice and even, not at a curve, not like this. Even strokes will make sure that you have nice and even paint. We're gonna take a look at this and see if it needs a third coat after this all dries. I gotta say, we could stop right here, but we're gonna put one more coat on. Again, not too heavy, light, and that way we have 100% even coverage and I know that we're good to go. Pay attention to those passes now that I discussed earlier and watch how I go over the whole entire panel.
Man, that looks beautiful. Now, if you wanna keep your can and nozzle nice and clean, I'm gonna show you a quick tip. What you need to do is you take it and you put it upside down and then you're gonna press the trigger in. Paint is gonna come out and then air is gonna come out. Once you see the air is coming out only, that means it's nice and clean. Watch. See that? Clear? We're good to go. We'll give it a nice wipe right here. And we know that our nozzle is good to go for the next time. Now, if it has a little bit of buildup, you can use some mineral spirits to wipe it on off. And that's gonna mean that you're gonna have a nice, clean spray pattern for the next time you go to use it, and you are good to go. Wow, Brian, that came out great. Yeah, and I gotta say, about 20 minutes working time, and it looks great. And you don't need to remove it, you can just mask the car off if you need, but you know, we removed it, it makes it easier and get around all the edges. Now, that's not where the project stops. Come over to this table and let's show you what we got. John went ahead and took apart all the mirrors for us, and this is the way we want to refinish it. We're gonna go ahead and you can see that they're just seeing better days. You know, these parts are not painted the same as the car is painted, so they do wear. Um, you got chips, you got scratches everywhere, and then take a look at that wing right there. It used to be glossy at one point and uh, it's just totally faded. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to sand down all these parts and smooth them out and then give them a nice coat of paint. And then we're going to actually going to replace the reflector that goes in there because we just can't save it. It's cloudy and it looks like it's got some condensation in it. So I'm going to go ahead and take these parts to the back and go ahead and get started on them because it's time to get this car rolling. and we're gonna go ahead and seal all the parts, put down our NH700M base coat, and then clear coat it. Let's get rolling, and then we'll see what it looks like all in the end. The mirrors, the spoilers, and the windshield cow came out perfect. We hope you find this video helpful on your next project. And make sure you support us by hitting the like, subscribe, and share the videos with your friends and family. And don't forget to visit our website, www.accurhonorclassic.com. 
pick up your favorite apparel and merchandise. My name is Mike Behalf for AXC Garage. We want to thank you for watching our channel and hope to see you guys on the next one.